Kumusta mga exile? Kim Ross here. Welcome to another my budget build guide. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about my Venom Gyre Assassin. And first, I'm gonna talk about my equipment. And first is this uh, Wasp Nest Throat Stubber. And this weapon is really good for this build because this weapon will give you a good amount of physical damage, lots of uh, increased attack speed, lots of accuracy, also gives you lots of added chaos damage against enemies with uh, five poisons and also I'm using two of this weapon and another unique item is this windscreen boots and mainly I'm using this because of the additional curse and another unique item is this embalmers carnal mitts and these gloves will give you some chaos damage and poison duration and lastly this uh, rat's nest and this helmet will give you lots of attack speed lots of crit chance lots of evasion and also some movement speed and for the rare items first is this amulet and for the amulet look for some strength uh, physical damage to attacks accuracy and also i anointed this amulet with corruption which gives you uh, increased damage over time, chaos damage over time multiplier, and chaos damage. And you get, for this, you're gonna need um, uh, crimson oil, one crimson oil, and two black oils. And for the rings, uh, they're just uh, basic life and resist. And also look for rings with intelligence because you're gonna need it for your uh, gem requirements. And for the belt, they're just uh, life and resist and also look for some strength and for the body armor, it's just basic life and resist and for the flask, I'm using sulfur flask for increased damage uh, jade flask for more evasion and uh, it's J jade flask of acceleration so it's it has increased attack speed and also I'm using witch fire brew flask for increased evasion and also increased damage over time and also grants you level 21 despair curse and lastly this Carlitos signature diamond flask which gives you more crit and also this flask will give you lots and lots of poison damage and for the gem setups I'm uh, using uh, venom gyre with vicious projectiles and bound ailments and deadly ailments, vile toxins, and lesser multiple projectile. And with boss fights, I switch this lesser multiple projectile with uh, void manipulation. And on my boots, I have common skitter bots with wither, uh, belt totem, and multiple totems. And on my weapon, I have ancestral protector, smoke mine and blood rage and on my helmet i have uh, precision summon ice golem with cast one damage taken and flesh and stone and make sure that you use uh, sand aura uh, sand stance so the enemies will be blind so you have more evasion and on my weapon i have val blight increased duration and val haste and lastly on my gloves I have Armageddon brand with cursed on hit, despair and temporal chain. For the ascendancy I'm using assassin and I'm using this noxious strike and this toxic delivery and these two nodes basically will give you lots and lots of poison damage and I'm using this opportunistic which gives you increased movement speed and 20% more damage while, while there is uh, one rare or unique enemies nearby and lastly this uh, mist walker and I really like this new node because this is both uh, defensive and offensive uh, this node will give you a chance to gain elusive on crit strike and while elusive you will have 20% chance to dodge spell and attack and also it will give you increased attack speed and on the paste bin uh, 
uh, I added this three nodes here and this two nodes here only because um, in path of building it doesn't calculate the increased attack speed in this mist walker so yeah I just added those nodes to calculate the damage for the skill tree um, get this uh, claw nodes here and also this um, piercing shot so your venom jar will pierce and also this chaos nodes here and this uh, fatal toxin which gives you lots of uh, poison damage this acrobatic for more dodge and this sweep venoms uh, poisonous fangs claw of the the pride and toxic strikes uh, these nodes will basically give you lots and lots of poison damage and lastly this um, point blank which gives you more damage when you're uh, close range with the enemies and yeah that's all i can say about this venom jar build thank you for watching if you like it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel magkita na lang tayo sa susunod na video